We continue today with chapter 28, The Agreement to Join. What waits in perfect certainty beyond salvation is not our concern, for you have barely started to allow your first uncertain steps to be directed up the ladder separation led you down. The miracle alone is your concern at present. Here is where we must begin, and having started, will the way be made serene and simple in the rising up to waking and the ending of the dream. When you accept a miracle, you do not add your dream of fear to one that is already being dreamed. Without support, the dream will fade away without effects, for it is your support that strengthens it. No mind is sick until another mind agrees that they are separate, and thus it is their joint decision to be sick. If you withhold agreement and accept the part you play in making sickness real, the other mind cannot project its guilt without your aid in letting it perceive itself as separate and apart from you. Thus is the body not perceived as sick by both your minds from separate views of points of view. Uniting with the brother's mind prevents the cause of sickness and perceived effects. Healing is the effect of minds that join, as sickness comes from minds that separate. The miracle does nothing just because the minds are joined and cannot separate. Yet in the dreaming has this been reversed and separate minds are seen as bodies which are separated and which cannot join. Do not allow your brother to be sick, for if he is, have you abandoned him to his own dream by sharing it with him? He has not seen the cause of sickness where it is, and you have overlooked the gap between you where the sickness has been bred. Thus are you joined in sickness to preserve the little gap unhealed, where sickness is kept carefully protected, cherished, and upheld by firm belief, lest God should come to bridge the little gap that leads to him. Fight not his coming with illusions, for it is his coming that you want above all things that seem to glisten in the dream. The end of dreaming is the end of fear, and love was never in the world of dreams. The gap is little, yet it holds the seeds of pestilence and every form of ill because it is a wish to keep apart and not to join. And thus it seems to give a cause to sickness which is not its cause. The purpose of the gap is all the cause that sickness has, for it was made to keep you separated in a body, which you see as if it were the cause of pain. The cause of pain is separation, not the body, which is only its effect. Yet separation is but empty space, enclosing nothing, doing nothing, and as unsubstantial as the empty place between the ripples that a ship has made in passing by and covered just as fast as water rushes in to close the gap, and as the waves in joining cover it. Where is the gap between the waves when they have joined, and covered up the space which seemed to keep them separate for a little while? Where are the grounds for sickness when the minds have joined to close the little gap between them, where the seeds of sickness seemed to grow. God builds the bridge, but only in the space left clean and vacant by the miracle. The seeds of sickness and the shame of guilt he cannot bridge, for he cannot destroy the alien will that he created not. Let its effects be gone and clutch them not with eager hands to keep them for yourself, the miracle will brush aside them all, and thus make room for him who wills to come and bridge his son's returning to himself. 
count then the silver miracles and the golden dreams of happiness as all the treasures you would keep within the storehouse of this world. The door is open, not to thieves, but to your starving brothers who mistook for gold the shining of a pebble and who stored a heap of snow that shone like silver. They have nothing left behind the open door. What is the world except a little gap perceived to tear eternity apart and break it into days and months and years? And what are you who live within the world except a picture of the Son of God in a broken pieces, each concealed within a separate and uncertain bit of clay? Be not afraid, my child, but let your world be gently lit by miracles. And where the little gap was seen to stand between you and your brother, join him there. And so sickness will now be seen without a cause. The dream of healing in forgiveness lies, and gently shows you that you never sinned. The miracle would leave no proof of guilt to bring you witness to what never was. And in your storehouse it will make a place of welcome for your father and yourself. The door is open that all those may come who would no longer starve and would enjoy the feast of plenty set before them there. And they will meet with your invited guest the miracle has asked to come to you. This is a feast unlike indeed to those the dreaming of the world has shown. For here, the more that anyone receives, the more is left for all the rest to share. The guests have brought unlimited supply with them, and no one is deprived or can deprive. Here is a feast the father lays before his son and shares it equally with him. And in their sharing, there can be no gap in which abundance falters and grows thin. Here can the lean years enter not, for time waits not upon this feast, which has no end. For love has set its table in the space that seemed to keep your guest apart from you. And from the workbook, Lesson 220. I am not a body. I am free. For I am still as God created me. There is no peace except the peace of God. Let me not wander from the way of peace. For I am lost on other roads than this. But let me follow him who leads me home. And peace is certain as the love of God. I am not a body. I am free. For I am still as God created me. Amen.